welcome start, ladies. The six-ranked champion Chargers from Bernie trying to take over the lead in District 15, 5A Division 2, but they'd have to get by the undefeated and fifth-ranked Alamo Heights Mules. The Mules kick off the scoring. Quarterback James Sobey going on top to Rhett Anderson, who makes a leaping grab in the back corner of the end zone. 11-yard touchdown, 7-0. Mules will take a two-touchdown lead for the Chargers to get on the board. It's a 14-9 game. Chargers are charging right now. Quarterback Carson Kaiser escapes the pocket, finds Ryan Brandon, who makes a great grab, turns that into a 31-yard score. Champion would go for two, get it, take a 17-14 lead at halftime. Mules kick back. Sobey to Anderson again, this time from 30 yards out in the air here. Mules up 21-17 in the third after the great catch of the end zone, and that is your final score. Our defense has really played well this year, and uh, they had to step it up tonight against a good team, and they did a great job. They got just enough stops and a few turnovers. Uh, couldn't be more proud of them, and they played their tails off. All right, the Brendan Band is fired up to see the Bears. 28-0 lead over the John J. Mustangs. Gustafson Stadium. The Bears' Jason Love piling up the yards on the ground, picking up nine yards to get down to the J. 15-yard line. Bears on the goal line. They give it to Love again. Punches it in. 34 nothing lead. The final from Gus. 69-6. Brennan, the Steel Knights, trying to stay undefeated. Hosting the South Sand Bobcats. A nice jump on the Bobcats early. Quarterback Connor Vincent hits to Sean Singleton on the swing pass. Turns the Jets on. Looks like he might get taken down around the 40, but he stays balanced. Keeps on trucking for the 55-yard touchdown. 7-0 Steel the final from Linoff, 56-6. What a battle tonight at Ranger Stadium. Number three, Smithson Valley hosting Johnson with offensive coordinator Joel Call taking over as head coach. Four quarter, Rockets down 32-27. Quarterback Michael Burrows goes deep for Andre Jones. Check it out in slow motion. This is a fingertip grab for the 35-yard touchdown with eight seconds left. The Rockets stop the Rangers on the ensuing kickoff. Time runs out. Johnson with a remarkable victory. And in Smithson Valley, their first loss of the season. Let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard. What a game. 33-32. Johnson is the final and that one, Steel over South Sam, 56-6. Elsewhere, Brennan with a big win over Jay. And how about Alabama Heights edging out Bernie Champion, 21-17. Reagan Rattlers trying to be careful not to look past Roosevelt tonight since they face Johnson next week. And the Rattlers strike first right on defense. Roosevelt with the ball first, but not for long. The Rattlers turning defense into offense. Gregory Featherstone, the third, gets the ball thrown right to him. He's taking it 48 yards the other way, 7-0 lead. The final, Reagan gets the win, 35-7. Toga. Toga night for the Churchill fans at Hero Stadium as they watch the Chargers try and tame the Bramas. Churchill up 21-7. They show no signs of slowing down. Quarterback Ryan Vigil running the read option, decides to keep it, picks up eight tough yards. A little later, Vigil lobs it to Baron Gardner in the back corner of the end zone, 28-7. The final from Heroes, 42-10. Clark Cougars taking on lead tonight, hoping to keep their playoff hopes alive. Cougars running back Nikos Varelas finds the gap up the middle, pickups. 33 yards all the way down to the league 34 yard line. Cougars stay on the ground. This time it is Chris Gertz. He gets the ball. Look at him weave his way through the defense. This is for a 34 yard touchdown. 7 0 Clark lead. And the final from Ferris, it is 49 0 Clark. Team Camp is meeting in midfield to shake hands before kickoff between the Titans and Rio Grande City. Legacy pushing the Rattlers early here. Running back Fernando Flores running strong behind the offensive line. Bounces off one defender before getting brought down, but not before picking up 13 yards. Titans cap it off that drive. Zazar Tovar play action pass to wide open Javier Murillo. 23 yards. Titans take the early 7-0 lead. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final. Southwest Legacy with a shutout. 28-0. Reagan over Roosevelt. 35-7. It was 42-10. Churchill over MacArthur. 49-0. Clark over Lee. The Highland Owls are trying to hang on to that lead in district. Hosting the Kennedy Rockets tonight. The Rock Pile. Kennedy is up 14-10 in the third. Rockets on the move. Quarterback Joseph Simmons trying to escape the pocket, but can't so. He makes a leaping throw to Raymond Flores. and picks up 22 yards. Get down all the way down to the Owls. 10. Fourth and goal from the three Kennedy and they go for it. Simmons finds running back Daniel Sanchez in the end zone for the score. 20 to 10 after the missed extra point. The final from Alamo Stadium. Look at that. Kennedy holds on for the win. 27 24. Nothing like nachos on a Friday night watching a little high school football. Second quarter. Sam Houston Hurricanes up 20 to 12 over Memorial. But the Minutemen are prepared to keep fighting. Quarterback Sam Hernandez going deep to the end zone for Jacob Sanchez. 31-yard score against Memorial within 10 after a failed two-point conversion. Final from Edgewood Veterans Stadium. Memorial gets the win, 45-42. At Texans Stadium, Wimberley hosting number four Navarro on the Texans offense's rolling quarterback Cash McCollum. It's Nathan Simpson at the first down marker. He cuts inside, wheezes his way all the way down to the end zone. 69-yard touchdown. Let's see if that has gone foul. It has 27-0 Wimberley. Veterans and Memorial cheerleaders on the sideline. When we arrive at Rutledge facing New Braunfels Canyon, the Patriots clinging to a four-point lead, but look to extend that. 
that. Quarterback Alex Alva keeps it on the read option, bounces to the outside, gets to the sideline in the end zone. The 12 yard touchdown made it 29 18. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final. Veterans Memorial with a win. Look at it outscoring Canyon 62 46. Shutout for Wimberley over Navarro tonight. It is elsewhere. Highlands falling to Kennedy 27 24. And Memorial outscoring Houston 45 42. The Randolph Rohawk flexing their muscle at Cthulhu tonight 15 0 nothing in fourth, but the Rohawks are not done. Colton Howard takes a handoff, plows his way in for the five yard score 22 0 nothing. Randolph, the final from Randolph Air Force Base 42 0 nothing. Meantime, on post, the Cole Cougars were hosting the Jordan and Indians. Jordan up 13 0 nothing when we arrived. The Indians were on. On the move, quarterback Matt Hicks boots legs pass to Hayden Harris for the 17-yard score to get Cole into the red zone, I should say. The Indians cap that off drive with the quarterback keeper you saw right there. Hicks pushes the pile in from one yard out, 19-0 Jordan at that point. The final from Fort Sam Cole. Falls to Jordan 31-22 at Bulldog State tonight. Somerset hosting Bernie first quarter. Greyhounds quarterback Rashawn Galloway goes deep for Cam Johnson. He hauls it in over the shoulder for the 48-yard touchdown. Let's head back to the big game coverage scoreboard for the final and more. Somerset falls to Bernie 51-21. Plus with a big win on the road 52-8 in Uvalde. 42 to nothing, Randolph over Cthulhu, and Jordan with a win over Cole on post 31-22. We are just getting started. Up next, our big game coverage, road trip, fan cam, more highlights and more scores. But first, let's listen to the Edison Golden Bears marching band. 